Hello everyone. In the continuation of our previous interview question video, we are back with Dream11 data scientist interview. In this video, we will talk about the complete interview process of Dream11 and what question can come in your interview. So before this, here are a few details about Datamonk. In Datamonk, we help students to prepare different type of topic in different domains. Now let's get back to our Dream11 process. So to know more about the Dream11 process, we connected with one of the person who got selected as Dream11 data scientist in Gurugram recently. So as you all know, Dream11 is Indian fantasy sports platform and the profile offered by the company was data scientist. The location of the profile was Gurugram India and experience criteria was two years and above. And the compensation for this job was one of the best in the industries. So in total, there were four rounds in the interview process. The first round was a written test in which questions were based on probability and statistics. The second round was a domain interview round in which questions asked for a machine learning and R programming. After this round, there was another technical interview round in which most of the question was based on machine learning and the project which was mentioned in your resume. And for the last round, it was a hiring manager round and the question was on personal and cultural fit. So now we will look into detail of each round. So for the first round, it was a written test with question on probability and statistics. The duration for this round was around 60 minutes. Some of the questions asked in this round was like, how do you handle the missing data and statistics? Or what do you mean by selection bias? Or give us an example of inlier and outlier. And for the probability type, they asked a question, if two dice roll together, then what will be the probability of getting two threes? The overall difficulty for this round wasn't easy as they were pretty basic questions. And the mode of interview was hangout. Basically, in this round, they want to check if you know basics of data handling or not. After clearing this round, there was another round, which was a domain interview round. In this round, most of the questions asked was in R programming and machine learning. The duration for this round was around 60 minutes. And the few questions asked in this round were like, what do you mean by boosting and bragging? And in R programming, they were like, write a code in R using dplyr function in order to perform some operation on the data frame. Or write a code in R for scatter plot using ggplot. So for this round, overall difficulty would be in easy to medium. And the mode of interview was again on Hangout. Basically, in this round, they want to check whether we are familiar with R or not. After clearing this round, there was another round, which was technical interview round. In this round, most of the questions asked were based on some machine learning concept and project mentioned in your resume. The duration for this round was around one hour. And in project, and in project, there was a brief discussion about the project. Like I have mentioned NLP and CNN model, so they asked about some basic definition related to NLP and CNN. After the project, they asked some more questions based on machine learning, which were like, how would you use KNN algorithm for the big data? Or how would you improve this placement process using machine learning? In this round, some questions were really pretty good. The difficulty level for this round was in medium. And the mode of interview was on Google Meet. In this round, they want to check our thinking and application skills. After clearing round three, there was last round, which was hiring manager round. Mainly the question was about yourself and your past experience. The duration for this round was one hour and mode of interview was hangout. Some of the question for this round was like, tell us about your strength and weaknesses, or where do you see yourself in five years from now? Or what kind of quality do you seek in a team member? They were all same question related to hiring manager round. The duration for this whole process took around one week. And after clearing all the four rounds, you will finally receive your offer letter. Now, if you want to look into each question in detail, then you can visit our website www.thedatamong.com. So that's all about the Dream11 data scientist interview process. Now, if you want to know more about particular interview or want to understand what type of question asked in particular domain or in particular type of company, then you can visit our website. 
we also have a set of question bank and article that will help you to ace any type of interview thank you hope you like the video for more interview type of question video do like and share the video